And then you kind of work from both ends until you meet in the middle. So there's two things you could do now. You could ask, what could I do to the starting material that will make changes that will make it more like the product? However, it's probably more useful. Oftentimes, it's more useful to focus on the product and ask, what starting material or intermediate could I start with that would give me this product over here? Oh, I should look down like this. And then you would write the reagent over here that would yield the starting material. You might have to do three or four steps before you get from here to here, as the problems get harder and harder. Um, and remember, what's the name of this? This is just the retrosynthesis technique. Retrosynthesis is just the technique of working backwards from the product. It's just a technique that we use for solving synthesis problems. All right. Uh, I think a big mistake people make in this course is they're so eager to try to cover all the ideas that they don't spend enough time reviewing the stuff they've already gone over. You should recognize the course has a pretty lenient curve. That is, you can afford to get a lot of things right and still get a decent grade, but you have to get some things right. Yeah. So if you try, if, if a lot of people just spend a little time on everything. And then they can't get anything right. So it's kind of better to spend significant time on the most important stuff. So make sure that you really uh, understand the stuff that we've gone over together and that you've gone the second language book, especially try to review what we just went through here today. We went through some very important ideas here. Then try to find some multi-part problems in the, uh, in, the, in the textbook that go over this. Try to find some multi-part problems with lots of different variations on Grignard, say. That's really the best way to improve. And mark the problems that you miss and do them again in a couple hours. Keep redoing the same problems. Uh, again, you can get a decent score if you, you're getting the questions right on the things that you've actually gone over, even if there's a couple reactions you haven't gone to yet. Uh, but it's hard to get any, uh, a decent score if you only study everything a little bit, because then you, you can't get anything right. I have a question. Yeah. Is NaOCH3 a good base? Yes. That's not a good nucleophile? It could be a good nucleophile, too. Um, so that could be either a nucleophile or a base. Bulky? It's not very bulky, okay. no. These videos are offered on a pay-what-you-like basis. You can pay for the use of the videos by going to my website. There's a link to the website in the info box. Uh, here's the address of my website, uh, www.freelance-teacher.com slash videos.htm. That address is wwwfreelance dash teacher.com slash videos dot htm uh, or you can just use the link in the info box. Uh, I'll also mention that I offer tutoring uh, via Skype um, and you can find more information about that Skype tutoring service also at this website and again there's a link to that site in the info box. Thank you.